Welcome back. We are just about to hit October, which is silly season for distro releases. Uh, not only do we have the Ubuntu 19.10 family to look forward to, we also have Fedora 31 to look forward to. And also, I still want to take a decent look at OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. So today's video is going to be focusing on one of the betas that has been released for the Ubuntu release cycle of 19.10. And particularly, we're going to be looking at the Mate version. Uh, I say it Mate, the developers call it Mate. Let's just not have a pronunciation argument right at the top here. Okay, so Ubuntu Mate 19.10 beta. Let's just have a quick dig around and we'll see what we can learn. Okay, this is gonna be a short one, guaranteed a short video, here we go. So the Ubuntu Mate 19.10 release is, uh, the reason I'm ch I've chosen this one, by the way, is because I believe this one, uh, first of all, wow, I appreciate it when uh, people that create Linux distros actually put time and effort into their release notes. And as you can see right here, uh, the um, Martin Winpress, who's always been a, a great figurehead in the community in general, has, uh, has put out some fantastic release notes for, uh, for just the beta release. And he's actually given us uh, a heads up as to what are some of the expected features for the final release as well, so we can start getting a, a taste for it. Now, the reason I'm checking out the beta now is because we have such detailed release notes. Um, and, uh, and while I'm curious about a lot of other Ubuntu spins out there, um, Ubuntu Mate definitely takes the cake when it comes to just the amount of community buzz that this distribution seems to pick up. And I keep coming back to the theme of choice. There is so much fantastic work that goes into Ubuntu Mate uh, because it provides users with choice. Now, I mentioned choice. You're going to notice that around me, even though I am running Ubuntu Mate 19.10, uh, it looks profoundly different than, uh, than what it looks out of the box. And that's because uh, on surface level, can't stand the green theming of, uh, of Mate. I totally get where it's coming from and I totally respect and support uh, the, the look and feel out of the box in theory, but when I'm looking at it, I just don't appreciate it whatsoever. So yes, I may have Macified it more than just somewhat. And uh, yeah, absolutely, if you want a Mac, go buy a Mac. I've had a Mac before and it's whatever. But the reason I'm using the Mac theme in this particular video is to show off the fact that you can actually make Mate look pretty darn pretty. The only kind of thing that I'm sort of whinging a little bit about is the fact that this, uh, this tray at the top here isn't the same color as the panel. I don't know if you can pick up on that or not. But anyway, um, the reason that I'm using the, the sort of Mac OS theme, and I'll chuck some links uh, in the description below if you want to do this to your own desktop, is because Mate, even though it is based on a dated desktop environment, you can make it look really, really good. And when you've got a tool as powerful as Mate Tweak, which has been a mainstay, for the Mate release of Ubuntu for quite some time now, when you can change panel layouts with the click of a button and get powerful tools like a global menu that uh, no other desktop environment has been able to do as good of an implementation of a global menu. Um, and also you do get one of my favorite all time features, which is the HUD or the heads up display menu. So when you tap the Alt key, you can just start filtering through, um, you can just start filtering through all of the different file menus up that live up here in the global menu. To me, this is this is amazing. And it tempts me away from my usual kind of GNOME-based releases. Um, okay, so that's just a quick aside as to why I've got this looking the way that I do. Here we go. So the beta release has a bunch of new stuff packed into it, and I'm not gonna unpack it all here. But essentially, up-to-date desktop environment is uh, par for course. You have the, the distro release has settled on one window manager, which by default, is uh, the Marco window manager. So when it comes to uh, so when it comes to what's managing the desktop, you have Marco, and that's it. You can go and install Compiz or something else if you so desire. They have some new key bindings which you can go and check out in the release notes. And again, it just makes more sense based on what we've learned from other distros and other operating systems in general. So Super E brings up the file browser. Super T brings up the terminal, etc., etc. It's actually awesome that um, that the Mate team have gone ahead and uh, and added a new release to the Brisk menu, which was something that the Solus team originally came up with. And they've also really tidied up the panel up here so that all the notifications and all of the different uh, 
app indicators and all that kind of thing are all spaced out really nicely up in the top. And just like, just this screenshot right here, just it is so satisfying. And the one big thing that I'm most excited about, this is, this is ridiculous, I'm even saying this out loud, is a notification manager. In that notifications will now stack up in this little menu here and you can uh, look at them later. If you, have, if you have do not disturb mode enabled, or if you have uh, just missed a notification, then uh, then you can go and uh, and look at them now, which is actually a really big deal for me. A couple of other things that are that are unique to the Ubuntu 19.10 release cycle in general. Nvidia ISOs are included out of the box, so you don't actually even need a, uh, an internet connection to be able to use those. And uh, later on down here in the release notes, they actually include the uh, the little graphics uh, switcher tool that will live up here on the panel that you that allows you to quickly uh, switch graphics inputs uh, or switch switch graphics uh, cards if you need to do that. Um, the they have a desktop magnifier built in, which allowed them to remove Compiz and the other window managers from the default install. They've also replaced a couple of things. Evolution has replaced Thunderbird. I'm fine with that. And GNOME MPV has replaced VL, uh, has replaced VLC. All of this is in an effort to try and keep the ISO under two gig. And then you just got all the stock standard Ubuntu stuff, you know, latest kernel, latest drivers, all of that kind of thing. Now, the reason that I am I'm most enthused by this particular uh, version of the Ubuntu 19.10 release cycle is because it seems like these guys have a really good sense about what ultimately matters in a Linux distro. And there are so many uh, happy users of Ubuntu Mate, just the general buzz around the internet with this release is that I don't know anybody who uses this release and uh, and is really polarized by it. There's just such an attention to detail in all of the little things that goes into this distro from the uh, software boutique. If you've never checked that out before, definitely go and check it out. There's just so many little things that add up to a really well thought out distribution. And yes, this is in beta, so I'm not gonna be running this as my production machine yet, but I am this close uh, because it's snappy, it's lighter on resources than full on GNOME, it has more customization than full on GNOME, it has a nicer desktop that's visible to the user, uh, it's relatively tweakable in terms of uh, the appearance. It doesn't have any main features missing now compared to the modern desktop environments with the inclusion of things like high pixel density display support and notification settings, all of that fun stuff. There's just a lot to like here. So if you've got a virtual machine or you've got space on your hard drive, go check it out and kick it around for a little bit and let me know what you think about Ubuntu Mate in the comments below. And uh, I would probably go so far as to say this is my favorite implementation of Mate in the Linux world. What is yours? Let me know in the comments below. Look, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, forgive the croaky voice. We will be better next time, hopefully. And I will see you all in the very next video. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.